3, though today we're really not going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3, but rather the future of Call of Duty, specifically... The future, ladies and gentlemen! How my single chats are doing today? Because today we are going to be talking about another Call of Duty. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it either, but remember this. No matter how good a Call of Duty title is, if it has skill-based matchmaking, it is like the homie Albert Einstein said. And is the homie actually spitting facts though? Like and subscribe if you think Albert Einstein has a point. But let's check this out. COD 2024 as well as COD 2025. It's kind of crazy, right? We just learned a couple of days ago that the sales numbers for Modern Warfare 3 are down 38% yeah. compared to last Shout out to you guys out there. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that didn't buy the game. Even if, if, okay, okay, listen. If you bought the game, because I know that some of you guys would be like, Skizzle, I bought the game, man. I bought the game, bro. So what does that mean? If you bought the game, just try not buying any microtransactions or like those BBC bundles like this one, for example. Really, you will be alive. Try not buying the friendly UAV online, guys. Last year with Modern Warfare 2, and right before that news came out, we started to get some leaks and rumors in regards to COD 2024, which is Treyarch's next game, which is likely going to be Black Ops Gulf War. Yeah. Kind of weird how that works out, right? Most of these leaks or a lot of these things that happen, I do genuinely believe that a lot of it is just very clever marketing on the part of Activision, but regardless, we got some new details, and we're going to be covering that here in today's video. So like I said, lots of leaks and rumors have been coming out over the past couple months in regards to Black Ops Gulf War from industry insiders places like windows central tom yeah, henderson yeah. as well and i remember like last year we even had like the concept art like the official concept art not talking about like fan-made concept art not talking about uh, i mean indeed talking about you know the, the the devs that actually made this friendly uav online Bruh. skin they are the ones dead ass making the the, the concept art right oh, shit. crazy oh, shit. i know so those people actually made the concept art ended up getting leaked out for the next Black Ops game. And the funniest thing here is that dog, like it's gonna be coming out in 2024 next year. And in two years from now, it's gonna be 2025. So Nuketown 2025 makes a whole lot of sense. Can a brother get Nuketown 2025? I mean, of course they're gonna have Nuketown. Let's let's be real. As the game files themselves for Warzone Mobile. So here's basically everything we know because we haven't really talked about this game in a while. And I just want to kind of give a quick breakdown of all we've learned so far. Yeah. Treyarch's next game, which people thought Black Ops 5, Black Ops 6, whatever it's probably going to be <laughs> yeah. black ops golf 4 most likely yeah. it's yeah. going to be set technically technically it's going to be like the sixth black ops game because the fifth black ops game was black ops cold war it, they're not calling it black ops 5 they're probably not going to call this like a black ops 6 as well but it's going to be the sixth black ops so i don't care man you can call it black ops yo mama black ops my nuts black ops second these nuts. You know, you can call it anything, you can call it anything you want. I just hope the game is good, man. Who cares about the name? Who cares about what it's called? At the end of the day, we all want a good game and it's it's gonna be happening from Treyarch. So I'm a little positive and this is probably gonna be the last time you're gonna see me be positive if this year's, uh, yeah, this year's Call of Duty game Bruh. is gonna be bad then guys like it's gonna be joe where I, I i i know we say the same thing every year next year it's gonna be better next year it's gonna be better but literally though guys if this year's call of duty black ops 2024 game is bad it is Joe over. After that, I don't think they can make a comeback. This is do or die right now for Call of Duty because Modern Warfare 3 sales are down 40%. Oh, shit. Oh, I cannot shit. even compute that, right? I cannot even compute that. And for this one, I need to give a massive shout out to you guys, bro. You guys did it. We as a community, we did it. This is a beacon of hope. This is a beacon of light. Maybe my brothers finally did the right thing. Maybe they're gonna listen to the community. Maybe this time they're gonna remove skill-based matchmaking and maybe they're gonna make a good Call of Duty game. Probably not gonna do it, but hey, let's hope for the best. In the 1990s during the Gulf War, it's gonna have more of a traditional military vibe to it, right? It's gonna be old school technology as compared to what we're used to with the Modern Warfare series right now. And because it's gonna be the Gulf War, there's also gonna be a bunch of relics from like Vietnam and stuff that was used in Black Ops Cold War because of course that game was set in the 80s. It's gonna be a direct yeah. sequel to Black Ops Cold War. More. Some Black Ops maps, from what we've heard, are going to be returning. The two that were leaked a while ago are WMD and Grid, but it is said that the game is going to have a whole bunch of. Uh, hey, yo, wasn't it Grind from Black Ops 2, uh, like a DLC one map? Dog, Black Ops 2, hands down, was one of the best games. Let me know what's your favorite Black Ops game. If you pick Black Ops 1. Okay, good answer, but, but still a little bit wrong, wrong, right? If you pick Black Ops 3. Okay, but but still wrong. wrong. If you pick Black Ops 4, wrong. wrong. If you pick Black Ops Cold War, wrong. wrong. 
The correct answer is Black Ops 2, Yay! ladies and gentlemen. Black Ops 2 yeah, was the welcome, best welcome. Call of Duty. I mean, listen, we all got our favorite, so I'm just uh, playing around. But Black Ops 2 was my favorite. Let me know which one was your favorite, though. I hope this turns out to be our favorite, though. But the original maps, but year two is going to be different. Like, Activision has this new mentality, at least for right now. I mean, you know, remember back when we had the advanced movement games? We're like, oh, no, is it going to be advanced movement forever? Because we had three straight advanced movement games. But, of course, that wasn't the case. They tend to go on these little streaks of trying out. They have the same old mentality of selling those, uh, friendly. Like, what do you mean, bro? They have the same mentality, dog. Different things, and they run with that for a bit, and then they get a new idea, and then they jump to that. But when it comes to COD 2024, it seems like they're going to basically be doing what they're doing right now with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. It's okay. said that Black Ops Golf War is going to have a year two. Again, similar to what we have. Yeah! What? What? Stop the cap. Say you swear to God, bro, dog. We gotta have emergency meeting immediately, though. They said the same. <laughs> they said the same thing for Modern Warfare 2022, and we didn't get the year two. Technically, Modern Warfare 2023 was the year two, and we got it. But nobody told us that we would have to pay 70, 70 dollars for the recycled crap, dog. Like this is why. I mean, damn, bro. You look at Santa Monica Studios. They drop free DLC for God of War. I know Sony doesn't have like a very good track record, but people complain, right? With The Last of Us 1 remaster being, I believe 60 or 70 bucks, don't, uh, I think it was 70, but Last of Us 2 rem is getting remastered. I mean, it's absolutely pointless though. Last of Us 2 came out back in 2020, but all right, getting a remaster, $10 upgrade, yeah, right, like, okay, I, people complain, they listened, and they still haven't fully listened, but guess what? They came out with God of War DLC, and that is free! That is free! Completely free. Although I do believe that this is on Santa Monica more than PlayStation, but obviously Santa Monica is owned by PlayStation, so they have to have a, a hand in play for sure, right? So look at them, right? And look at Call of Duty. Dog, y'all suckers could have made Modern Warfare 2023 free for people that had Modern Warfare 2 2022, right? You could have charged people 40 or even 70 bucks, okay? Let's say somebody that didn't have Modern Warfare 2022. Okay, makes sense. You know, they buy Modern Warfare 2023 and then they get Modern Warfare 2022 alongside it because Modern Warfare 3 is a DLC. You could or maybe make it like a $10 upgrade or some crap like that. Even $30 would have been decent though. Although I agree it should have been free for people that own Modern Warfare 2022. So don't give me this crap that this year's game is going to be a two year cycle because we know that it's not going to be. Or maybe, okay, there's like a 50-50. I, I, I know I'm going to contradict myself here. The only, but I want to explore this possibility because it's kind of like the unknown. Right, yeah, Xbox had Activision. They bought Activision, right? So you never know. Maybe in the future, Call of Duty will turn out to be good or maybe bad. I want to know your thoughts right now where Treyarch is going to release their game in 2024 and then Treyarch themselves or possibly another developer are going to handle the 2025 game which is going to be a direct sequel to Black Ops Gulf War. Yeah. Now what we've learned so far is actually really interesting. It sounds like they're really going to be copy and pasting the entire idea of what they're doing right now with the Modern Warfare franchise because right now it's said that Black Ops Gulf War is going to come out. It's going to be in the 90s. It's all going to be fantastic and whatnot. It's going to be kind of a throwback Treyarch game more like the old school like the original Black Ops which sounds cool. And then in 2025, they're going to release another game, but that game yeah. is said to have no original maps in it at launch, but rather they're going to have all the Black Ops 2 maps returning and have them be remastered. There we go, boys. There we go. <laughs> Although I do want to see Black Ops 2 remaster multiplayer maps. I feel like that Black Ops 2 is such a such an it was such an epic game still is one of the best Call of Duty game for a lot of people. Maybe not you and that's fine though. We got a lot we got different opinions. It's fine, okay? But a lot of people love that game and I want to definitely and definitively see Black Ops 2 get remastered. Hell, I even wanted to see Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer maps getting remastered as like a real game, right? They did it, but they did it in Modern Warfare 2023. Bruh. They microtransaction and fight. They BBC fight. They bundle it fight. Like friendly UAV online. They, they friendly UAV online and fight. That's okay, bro. This is not the remaster we wanted, dog. We want a new game to be new we want 
a remaster game to be a remaster title a remaster charge people 30 40 dollars charge an appropriate amount and give us like a full package though not like hey you get campaign separately then you get remaster multiplayer maps in a new game but a new game doesn't have content of its own three hours of lackluster campaign no zombies map zombies is on warzone all those zombies on warzone can be fun i'm not denying that uh, I guess it's a good thing they did, but alongside you do that as a cherry on top. You do it alongside new zombie maps. You don't remove zombie maps and do zombies on Warzone. You have new maps and then you do zombies on Warzone as like a bonus. Like if you agree. Like and subscribe if you agree. Uh, I don't mind remaster games. It's just that dog. When you're coming out with a new game, gotta be new. And we're hearing they're gonna be doing the same trash they're doing with Modern Warfare 2023. But that is far, far away. So maybe uh, Xbox Microsoft is gonna knock some sense down there. These twats had may maybe, and I hope, I hope this happens where we get a full-blown Black Ops 2 remaster though. They call it Black Ops 2 remaster, charge people appropriately, no microtransactions. Uh, I, I'm, I'm hesitating right now saying that because the, the gaming industry that we're part of right now, sadly guys, I have to say this, I guess there's no escape from these greedy ass publishers and these greedy ass microtransactions as sad as it might sound because I'm, I, I have a lot in my mind that I want to speak and I'm speaking but it's like you know it's not making sense right now because I know that these companies are so greedy that y y you know what I mean I'm hesitating right now so i guess that's possibility is kind of over but that would actually be pretty interesting right so we're gonna have a game black ops gulf war set in the 90s but then the year after that all the maps are gonna be from black ops 2 and in my head i thought to myself well that doesn't really seem to make that much sense like how could yeah, they possibly pull that off unless we're doing a massive time <laughs> jump and then we have like half the game being carried forward content from like 1990s 1980s technology and weapons and stuff like that and then we jump up into like the 2020s which is just like 30 40 years of be kind of weird right but i really don't think it'd be that hard because just like looking at some of these maps right here i mean black ops 2's maps weren't crazy futuristic i mean the game Bruh. itself has some kind of weird technology back in the day some of it was semi-futuristic a lot of the guns yeah, at the time didn't even properly exist but yeah, the true. game is still futuristic because we were all the way back in 2012 when that game came out you know yeah. but the maps themselves you could just man near futuristic setting with Treyarch bangs. I love near futuristic setting with uh, with Treyarch. I, I would say like 2065 crazy futuristic, but Black Ops 3 was a was a very good game. Minus like the 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 entire supply drops and the the the, the entire aids that that game actually had. Bruh. That was that the entire aids thing that it was sharing with the fans. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and minus the campaign. But I would have to agree that Black Ops 3 campaign was better than Modern Warfare 2023 though. Oh. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. So what? So what? Huh? Huh? What you gonna do, huh? Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Let me show you some kisses. Uh, I, I know some of you will be like, yo, Skizzle man, stop doing that, bruh. I'm gonna dislike the video, cut you guys. Come on, man. Come Throw on, those bruh. into basically any Black Ops game, and they would look it, normal. It's kind of similar to what they did with Black Ops Cold War. They remastered Raid. They remastered Hijacked from Black Ops 2 and put them in the Cold War. But they yeah. fit within that game because all they really had to do was add some, like, 80s-themed decorations to the yep. wall. You know, change the TVs to the old-school televisions maybe change up the cars that are on the map and things like that really and seriously though when do you guys think they're gonna reveal the game i if i have to take a guess usually they do in august now they're delaying their reveals but if i have to take a guess i would say knowing how badly modern warfare 3 uh bombed knowing the sales of modern warfare 2023 i wouldn't be surprised if they reveal it a little bit early i would go with june ish maybe at summer game fest let me know your thoughts click on this video on the screen we had a ton of news and a ton of drama in this one on the left though we had some gta 6 trailer 2 information pre-orders gta online 2 check both of these videos out and i will see you right there